Hi guys, it's Amanda. Better when I'm dancing. Oh, better when I'm dancing. Yeah. Better when I'm dancing. Okay, as you're jumping on, say hi as I'm doing my little share share. There we go. Hey, let me know you're here if you guys are watching. Hello, Mr. Knox, how are you? Hi everyone, if you don't know me yet, if this is the first time we are crossing paths, I'm Amanda, Amanda Heisman from Heisman Health. I am watching the bluebirds outside my window. I am also uh, a nutrition intuitive and an energy embodiment coach, so I help you eat more intuitively and eat for energy so you can bring use that energy and intuition to bring forth your purpose and your passion into the world. Um, I deeply explore the uh, spiritual and emotional sides of nourishment, um, and we have a lot of fun doing it. So today, I want to talk about, I kind of put a teaser out there, let me know you're here. Um, if you're jumping on, hey guys, if you're watching the replay, say replay love in the comments below. Um, so I'm jumping on because I've had this like, I've had this topic ruminating for a while because I help a lot of people lose weight. And some people I help gain weight. So there's that. But that's a huge topic in and of itself. And um, usually the weight loss is actually a side effect of being well nourished. It's not really, um, it doesn't happen easily when it's the goal. It is actually, when, when being well nourished and having a right relationship with food um, is the focus, then weight loss kind of happens naturally. But I want to talk a little bit about um, the approach and the mindset that I have seen out there over and over again uh, towards weight. And I'm talking like a lot of folks that I help, women especially, come with maybe 10, 20, 25 pounds uh, that they want to lose, right? Like not like overweight, but not um, morbidly obese sort of thing. And there is already a should in their brain that um, losing this weight would serve them. And maybe it would. Um, but there is more of an underlying um, motivation around like how their body looks, maybe how it feels, but just that they should be this certain weight. And I think it's fascinating that we in our culture, like this is like a super curious subject for me, like uh, minus the judgments, but isn't it just fascinating that we are constantly changing like our body is constantly changing our environment is constantly changing like we are cut like literally our body is regenerating all the time yet somehow we expect our weight to always stay the same like we have this idea that we should be x whatever it is right whatever your magic number is we should be 120 we should be 180 whatever the the number is Hey, Olivia, hola. And um, so there's all these shoulds around the weight or like, I have to lose 10 pounds. Um, that, and, and what's underlying in, in that is this idea of like um, hating the weight. This idea of like kind of being again back to being in conflict with your own body and the own the the weight that you're carrying and not seeing it as part of ourselves or something that served us but something that just needs to go right like 
really getting into like a war or a battle. We even use these words. We even use these these words like these war terms with body and dieting, especially when it comes to weight. Okay, so I think you guys can all resonate with, you know what I'm talking about. If it, if it hasn't happened to you, you've seen it with a loved one, right? This, this idea around weight and um, really not loving our bodies. Or really, even if there is 10 or 15 pounds to lose, <clears throat> just getting into a war with those 10 or 15 pounds, right? So I'm actually um, writing a blog right now called Before and After What? Before and After What? Before What? After What? So really going into, rather than just getting this single focus on weight loss, it like because like I said before, weight loss is usually a side effect of being well-nourished, Um if you have weight to lose and you're ready to lose it, right? But like, what is going on in your life? I feel like the only time we really give ourselves permission to let our body change and our weight fluctuate is during um, life changes like puberty, like pregnancy, like menopause. But there's all these other life changes that are happening and, and what about the men, right? <laughs> like, half of those don't apply to them. So... Um, um, there's all these other life changes that cause, um, our, that may cause our weight to fluctuate, like moving homes, moving relationships, changing relationship status. These are all things that affect us. So for example, um, I'm invite, like I'm inviting us to have a lot more grace and compassion and curiosity when it comes to our weight, especially if and when we have, we think it would serve us to lose weight. Like we have a goal of weight loss. So what, the, the first step is to simply get curious. Like, how did this weight serve me? Because if it, is, if it is ready to go, if it is ready to be released, it simply wants to be acknowledged. Just as our emotions come up, like our emotions come up for acknowledgement, they come up for, um, they come up to be acknowledged, appreciated, and then they can be released, right? Whereas with, with our weight, it's the same way. So what, how did this weight serve me during this time? So for example, I, I um, was a digital nomad last year. My weight stayed the same during most of my travels. And then when I repatriated, hey guys, when I repatriated and came back to the States, I started in Ohio in the winter. Hey, Tina. Hey, Safira. I started in winter in Ohio. <gasps> and um, I'm, if, you, if you've been following me at all, you know that I've lived in South Florida for many years and I'm very climatized to that. And then I traveled to a lot of warmer places and I came from Thailand where it was in the 90s back to Ohio. I gained weight. And I, this is the first time, and I've been through lots of different series, like I had a car accident, I gained weight, I had a relationship, um, and I lost weight, you know, like all these things that we maybe gain or lose weight. But when I came back to Ohio, I gained weight, like I gained like 10 pounds or something. But I knew I wasn't in opposition to that, I wasn't in a battle with that, I knew that that was going to help me um, what was its purpose? It was going to help me stay purely utilitarian at some, at some level, stay warm in this Great Lakes winter that I had just flown into and was going to spend a few months in. And I knew that my body was not accustomed to that sort of harsh weather. And the family around me, they are accustomed to it that was around me. And, um, you know, I'm climatized for a warmer climate. So, Gaining weight at that point was helped me. It helped me through that winter. And it also helped me readjust and go through that kind of reverse culture shock. And maybe some of, it was a little bit of a shield for me of some, as a sensitive person of some of the maybe, um, the, some of the maybe harsher realities of um, coming back to American culture um, from being abroad, right? 
for the record, I love being American, but it, th we're in an evolution right now, right? There's a lot going on. And so it was a bit of a, a shield for me, right? So that's just like, that's just a phase. That's something that happened. And as I acknowledged it, and as I got back into routine here in Florida, the weight falls away again. Um, <laughs> Sophia says, you definitely need a little extra in Ohio. Shout out to all my Ohioans, Midwesterns, wherever. Canada, wherever you guys have, have been through uh, some serious winters, feet of snow, like, like more power to you. <laughs> it's, a, it's a serious business. But, but you can see where that weight served me and where I'm, I'm not judging it, I'm not condemning it. I'm actually appreciating it for keeping me warm in the winter and for helping me reintegrate into my culture and um and just and and that was a phase right and that's not this huge thing i didn't i didn't have a baby you know like it wasn't this huge life event but in a way it was right in a way it's it's a phase and so uh, you know i've i've gained and lost like you know we have these fluctuations i'm of of, of these 10 pounds 20 pounds whatever it may be so I'm talking about appreciating that. So we've heard maybe we've heard about the concept of um, protection, right? Like maybe folks who have been through abusive relationships or things like that, they actually grow literally a thicker skin to deal with that. Um, and we know, right, that there's healthier ways to deal with that. But in the now, in the right now, your body is doing everything it can to protect you as the, in the interim until we get to those healthier ways. You are stress eating right now to deal with the stress until we find a better way to deal with the stress, right? Until we find a healthier way. But right now, it's really serving you. It's really serving me. So how is the weight serving you? And once this is acknowledged it releases so much easier so maybe you know like I remember a relationship in my past where it wasn't physically abusive but there were a lot of angry words all the time right like maybe some people might call that verbally abusive but I used to see I, I didn't gain weight in this relationship because I used to see the words I knew it wasn't about me I knew his words weren't about me right so I used to see the words come out of his mouth and literally like they had a fit that like for me I saw them in a physical form and they would drop between us so I would see the words come out of his mouth they would drop between us and I would not let them penetrate me and so I didn't take but if you're like a, a I didn't take them in, right? I didn't gain that weight. I didn't take that on because it wasn't mine to take on. I knew it wasn't about me. It was about him. So if you're taking on other people's stuff, you might be gaining weight. <laughs> Hi, Leisha. Leisha can't wait to watch this from the beginning. Definitely watch from the beginning because this is good stuff. And I love puns. I love all food and health puns. Um, <laughs> some some oh, same partner that I'm talking about used to call me the health coach comedian. Um, so you don't have to take it on, right? But if you are, if somehow like you're the peacekeeper or the um, like you're the peacekeeper in the family or the relationship, maybe you're taking stuff in that's not yours to take in, or you're you're squashing your voice, or maybe. Um, the weight, maybe weight is serving you in a way of, of giving you permission to take up space. This is another one I see sometimes. Like it's not always about protection or, or, or a shield, right? Sometimes it's giving you permission to, to use your voice and take up space in the world. Like step into a room and know that it's okay to be big and be bold and take up this much space. Um, to be a presence. Like my father is 6'4" large man like he is a presence in a room you know we all can think of people who are big people physically but also like they just have a big presence in the room so maybe your weight is teaching you that to to 
um, embody all that you are, right? To take up room, to take up space in this world and to not shrink. Like there is no shrinking. Um, like I don't shrink, don't shrink. <laughs> so, so I wanna invite us to just think about if you are in a space where you think losing 10 or 20 or 25 pounds would serve you right now. Let, let's reframe it from, yeah, Tina saying, oh, I never thought about it like that. Yeah, so let's reframe it to how we're thinking about it. Let's reframe our mindset and our heart set about our weight to a place of like maybe hating it or maybe just being in opposition to our body and not really loving it um, to a place of real appreciation. Man, this weight kept me warm during the winter. This weight grew a freaking baby. This weight um, is teaching me to take up space. This weight is protecting me in this um, in this scenario, in this relationship, or it's 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 serving a role in my family unit, and I want to find a better way to get there. But in the meantime, to 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 express it in a healthy way, and to change this family dynamic. But in the meantime, I'm going to appreciate exactly the the role that this weight is serving. <sighs> Doesn't that feel good? So like I, like I'm just going to make some space here right now for you to think about if you are in this space of wanting to lose weight, how the weight is serving you. And I just shared some of my own, right? Kept me warm during winter. Um, it helped me change my life, like back in the day. Um, if you've heard my story after my car accident, I gained like um, 20, 25 pounds after my car accident. So it really protected my body while it was in healing mode and gave me impetus to get into nutrition in the first place. So it literally changed my life. And once it came up for acknowledgement and appreciation, then it releases. Same way, like it's the same thing with like debt, right? And, and abundance, this idea of debt and abundance. Like we think of debt as this big burden or um, bad thing, right? It's looked at as a bad thing in our society, but when you can appreciate, hey, this debt helped me put a home over my head. It helped me feed the kids. It helped me uh, get an education. It helped me start a business. Like, and appreciate it, then that is when um, the, the weight of it releases. <laughs> the weight. And we start to, um, you know, we start to experience that abundance again. So let me know how that's resonating with you guys. But definitely it's not just to the big things of life like puberty, having a baby, menopause. It's life is always dynamic and always changing. So of course our weight will change. So of course our body will look different. It is always regenerating like change is inevitable. So let's appreciate the process and appreciate the way in which our weight is serving us whatever it is doing, whatever it is doing right now. I was meant to hear all of this right now. Love you, sister. I love you too. I love you too. And I love all of your weight. <laughs> Everyone who's watching, I love all of your weight because I'm positive that if it is on you and on your body, that it is meant to serve you in some way, shape, or form right now. That it is the absolute best thing for you right now. So... This is what I'm talking about. I'm not, um, you know, I'm not advocating being overweight, but this is, this is kind of the grace and compassion and curiosity I'm talking about when, um, when, we, when we are dealing with these things and just the absolute turning away um, from societal conditioning in that way. Sometimes we don't realize how deep it runs. Like we just don't even question it, right? And so I'm inviting us to question that societal norm. And I also see a lot of folks saying, I wanna get back to this weight. I wanna get back, I wanna get my body back to how it was before, whatever before is, right? And I wanna invite us to move forward. Like maybe there's even a better way or shape or composite or weight for your body to be moving forward. This was a concept that I struggled with quite a bit, both in, in life, in finances, in body, image, and weight, 
Like I want to get back. I want to get back there. Once I embrace the concept of moving forward, things got a whole lot easier <laughs> and appreciated every, like how, like where I've come, but I'm not going back there. Like I already did it, right? <laughs> Screw the get back, Kalisha says. Yes. Moving forward in like, all the wonderfulness that that may be. Andy says, thank you for your empathet empathetic perspective. I know a lot of people who could benefit from this. Awesome, Andy, be sure to share. Like, comment, share. Um, and if you guys, if this is something you want some assistance with and some support in moving away from this mindset and heart set and into a more empathetic one for yourself and having that grace and compassion with yourself, I would be happy to support you with that. There's a link for a free connect call in the, in the uh, caption. And I actually still have two more spaces in the Transform Your Energy private coaching program. Um, so if you're interested in that, go click to schedule. But I will also just say that a great, I'll also offer up and invite you to a practice that I use with a lot of my um, private clients. And that is in this, in this journey to appreciating the weight, sometimes it doesn't happen. Like there are like, sometimes it clicks right away when I talk about things like this. And sometimes it doesn't like, sometimes it takes a little longer to get into that mode of appreciation um, because we are so conditioned not to like ourselves, not to like our bodies in this culture, um, which is crazy, right? Our bodies are these amazing things that do so much for us that ugh. like, so one of the exercises I use with climate clients is, um, is naked body talk. So full length mirror, mirror talk, um, getting naked, and even if you can't take time to do this huge exercise that I'm about to say, but even just looking at your body naked in the mirror in the morning as you're going to the shower, as you're getting out of the shower, a lot of people don't do this. And this can be transformative. Just getting used to seeing yourself stripped down um, is a wonderful way to start. But I invite folks to, from head to toe to talk to each part of their body and let it know how much it's loved and appreciated from you right? So as, and this usually ends in tears, um, but inevitably like, okay, stomach, thank you for all, like, I see the weight around you, right? I see the weight around my stomach. I see how round you are right now. And I thank you for, um, having, having, um, kept me warm in winter. And I thank you for doing all this digesting of all the food that I've given you, whether it's been the best food for me or not, you've like taken it in and you've digested it and what, whatever, right? Thank you brain for doing all the heavy thinking and, and analyzing that I do on a day to day basis. Thank you neck for like lifting my head and being able to turn my head back and forth and, and keep me flexible. And thank you legs for moving me forward in life and being able to run and jump and, and do all these things that I wanna do and take the bike and go to the beach. And thank you, you know, thank you hands to be able to um, write amazing things and hug others and heal others. And thank you shoulder. Like sometimes maybe you're just like the, the thank you shoulder for still being here. Like for me, this is like a huge deal that um, after my car accident, my shoulder is still here. So that just, like, I'm just grateful you are still here and you're still part of my body. And thank you spine that you're doing your thing. And no matter how, how many pinched nerves there are or how many um, discs are out of alignment, you're still, there's the message from my brain is still getting through to the rest of my body. Thank you heart for pumping all the blood. Like, boom, blah, 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 you know, whatever is coming up for you. And this is just an amazing exercise of appreciation for your body and ultimately self love, right? Ultimately getting into a state where we're really appreciating ourselves where we're at. And once we're in a state of appreciation for the present, then it, it's a much easier path to get to where we want to go. 
rather than always being in opposition or always, I can't do this, I can't have a cookie, I have to lose weight. Like that's a very disempowering language, right? You can't like, you are choosing to love yourself. You are choosing whatever food, blah, 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 blah. You guys get the idea. You're welcome, Olivia. But um, how is your weight serving you today? I invite you to kind of think about that. And um, let me know if you guys have any questions. But to really get into a state of gratitude and appreciation for that weight and for what way it has served you. I'm really curious um, what other ways you believe your weight has served you. You know, I mentioned three or four of different ones that I see caught like some of my own and different other ones that I see commonly. Um, but yeah, just like really thanking the divine, thanking, create, thanking the God of your understanding for make, like giving you this body and you chose this body in this lifetime. It is your chosen vehicle to move through this life. So um, why not appreciate it and get into a state of appreciation for each phase, right? We move through so many different phases and like we take in so much in a day that we just kind of brush off like in a day, in 24 hours, so much happens. And I mean, I, and we just kind of like brush it off and we keep going, but certainly that affects us on a cellular level. And certainly sometimes that might, that might cause us to hang on to weight, something that we come across or some, you know, like news story or something like that. Um, I came across someone and I'm perpetually amazed by the human body. I came across someone who six weeks ago was all but like in a horrible car accident and all but gone. Um, they had to like, he lost all but like a pint of blood or something like something crazy. And his jaw is wired shut now and he walks with a cane. He's still recovering. But I mean, that just speaks to the resilience of the human body, right? And how amazing it is. So let's be let like, let's be in a a state of appreciation with it and a good relationship with it. Let's appreciate it. Tina says, since I did your intuitive dance class, I've been so much kinder to myself and been able to accept my weight much better. That's so awesome. I'm so happy to hear that. She's talking about the embodiment game, my five day embodiment game challenge, which we're actually going to run the 2.0 version on um, the last week of June. So not next week, but the week after you guys will start to see um, all the announcements about that. So if you are interested in dancing your way to better health and intuitive eating, the embodiment game is coming at the end of June. I'm excited. That that's, It's really fun. It's like embodying that idea of nourishment and intuitive eating down to the cells um, rather, and moving away from the energy of diets and restrictive mentality and being at war with our beautiful bodies. Da, 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 da. Gave me a heart and you gave me a smile. Da, 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 and you made me your child. I think this is an old Sunday school song. You gave me Jesus and you made me your child. Yeah, that's what it is. And I just thank you, Father, for making me me. Hey, it kind of goes along. <laughs> I just thank you, Father, for me. Who's offended now? Who's offended that I sang a Christian? I mentioned Buddha the other day, so now I gotta mention Christ. Anyway. I just thank the thank the divine for making you you. Appreciate your divine body today. I'm seeing all the emojis. I love you guys. I gotta get on a noon call. I don't know what time it is. 10 minutes. I got to get on a noon call. I love you. Definitely like comment and share and, um, and let me know how your weight, like I really want to get into this mode of appreciating it before trying to figure out how to change it. Like, yeah, I know there's better ways to deal with my stress. Um, and instead of jumping right to the better ways, let's, I want to know, like, I, I want to appreciate that my body, the, the weight is serving me, the stress eating is serving me to deal with my stress right now, right? So what way is your weight serving you right now? All right. I love you guys so much. <laughs> all the emo, all the, all the emojis. 
Hey Joanne, definitely watch from the beginning. And once again, if you'd like, I still have two spots remaining in my Transform Your Energy um, program. So if you would like to come in under the wire, this is the last, Wednesday, today's Wednesday, this is the last day um, that I'm taking calls to talk about that. You can schedule it today. You don't have to have the call today, but um, there's still two spots open for that. And then the embodiment game is coming that Tina mentioned is coming where we dance our way to intuitive eating is coming at the end of June 2.0. I love you guys. Mwah.